Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. It was just days after new charges of rape were filed against Brandon Acosta that his defense attorney filed a motion to suppress evidence in the case. Acosta was initially indicted for the murder of 15-year-old Tamika Nauta. In June of last year, the teenager was found dead inside her Dededo home. It wasn't until September, Acosta, who was already behind bars on burglary charges, that he confessed to her murder. In the new motion filed on July 19th, attorney William Pohl alleges that when police executed a search warrant, they collected more than what was listed on the consent form. Specifically at issue is GPD's confiscation of two brown shorts and slippers. Attorney Pohl says Acosta did not consent to the confiscation of these cloths, but rather GPD went looking for them. Quote, it is clear that consent was not given and it goes beyond the search warrant of the Guam Police Department. Pohl argues consent was only provided in writing for four items, and none were for the brown shorts and slippers that were taken. Not only does he want the shorts and slippers withheld as evidence, but also any DNA that may have been retrieved from them. Although Acosta is scheduled to appear back in court on August 8th, Superior Court Judge Vern Perez says that could be moved up or delayed pending any new motions or when the AG's office files its response to this new motion. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.